This is India's capital New Delhi and this is Lahore in Pakistan. Both cities have common problem that is smog. Although the other cities of the world also facing this issue, but the level of smog is very high in some cities like Multan, Delhi and Lahore, reaching up to 1500 air quality index which is affecting hundreds and thousand people every day in both countries. Well, let's have a look at the major reasons behind it and see how these cities can combat this problem. Smog is the mixture of smog and fog and it's come every winter as wind slow down and cold air traps dust and emissions of vehicles. This problem can be tackled just like China did, which was also facing severe smog issues in past years by introducing transportation reforms. But there is an another major reason that is called stubble burning, where farmers burn straw and debris after harvesting crops. Between October and January each year, out of 500 million tons, 92 million ton is burned only in Asia region, and at least 5 million ton is burned only in Pakistan. This is a prevalent agricultural practice in many parts of the world, particularly in South Asia, which is one of the primary contributors to the smog crisis experienced in urban and rural areas during harvest seasons. While it provides short-term economic benefits to farmers, the long-term environmental and health costs are very severe. Stubble burning releases a significant amount of particulate matter PM2.5 carbon dioxide and other harmful pollutants into air which contribute to the air quality degradation and onset of smog however stubble is rich in organic material and its potential has long been underestimated researchers have started to explore several ways to repurpose crop stubble for more productive and sustainable uses reducing the need for burning one of the most promising areas for stubble repurposing is its use in construction industry. Researchers have been exploring ways to incorporate agricultural residue in building materials like them used as an aggregate to provide insulation or using them as a lightweight materials or construction. When stubble is treated and processed to produce biochar or ash in controlled environment which researchers have used as an additive compound in cement for concrete. This is due to presence of amorphous silica and carbon in the ash. These supplementary materials highly improve the compressive strength of suggested foam concrete by up to 70%. Another potential application is the production of bio-based bricks. Stubble when compressed and mixed with natural binders can create lightweight insulating bricks that have a lower carbon footprint compared to conventional bricks. These bricks have the potential to revolutionize the construction industry, especially in rural areas where agricultural residue is abundant. Stubble can be also processed into fiber boards and insulation materials, which can reduce the demand for wood-based products and offer a more sustainable alternative for construction. Apart from being used in construction materials, stubble can be converted into alternative forms of energy. Bioenergy solutions such as biogas production and biomass power plants which can utilize agricultural waste including stubble as a feedstock to generate electricity and heat stubble when combined with other organic waste can be fed into biogas plants where it undergoes anaerobic digestion to produce methane gas this biogas can be used to generate power as a clean cooking fuel such initiatives not only reduce the need for burning stubble but also provides a renewable energy source. 